While you're probably aware that tourism is the cornerstone of the Las Vegas economy, you might be surprised to hear the second largest contributor is construction and development. While economic growth is hugely important to Clark County's prosperity, protecting the environment, including the desert tortoise, is crucial too. The Multiple Species Habitat Conservation Plan, or MSHCP, is a win-win solution that allows for both lucrative economic development and meaningful strategic conservation. The Multiple Species Habitat Conservation Plan is the county's plan to comply with the Endangered Species Act and mitigate for the impacts of our development on endangered species, um, specifically the desert tortoise. When the desert tortoise was first emergency listed in 1989, it suddenly became illegal to impact habitat where the desert tortoise occurs without a permit from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And what that meant for our community was a lot of folks actually had to walk off of active construction projects. This had a significant impact on local economy. Obviously, Clark County needed a solution, one that would meet the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's conservation requirements and allow for development. Enter the Multiple Species Habitat Conservation Plan. MSHCP is an important plan to balance development and conservation. It allows private landowners to develop their property without the need to negotiate their own Endangered Species Act permit with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The Fish and Wildlife Service requires a permit for you to be able to develop and actually impact species and their habitat. So Clark County worked with Fish and Wildlife Service to obtain an incidental take permit and develop a habitat conservation plan. This program saves developers time and money by providing a streamlined process for securing an Endangered Species Act permit for their project. Without the MSHCP program, developers would be required to apply for and receive an individual project-by-project project permit from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And what that means is they would have to negotiate their own mitigation measures for the project and there would not be a regional approach to conservation. People can go into their development projects knowing how much it's going to cost for mitigation. Conservationists can go in saying, okay, we've got all this land set aside to mitigate for this development over here. So we know we have land protected, we know we can build. As development projects occur, a developer comes to Clark County or one of the incorporated cities to get their grading permit. And at that time, they pay a fee of $550 per acre. And that allows them to participate in our multiple species habitat conservation plan. We take care of the mitigation measures of the impact that that development may have on, again, the species or the habitat. The biggest benefit it is it allows us to pool resources in order to do a greater good for the species in exchange for the development. One example of the scale of conservation that can be accomplished under the MSHCP is the Boulder City Conservation Easement. It's about 86,000 acres just south of Boulder City. It's protected for desert tortoise habitat. We need the desert tortoise for the survival of many other species that use desert tortoise burrows. They're kind of like the little engineers of the desert. They create all the home, they're the home builders of the desert. So like without that species, if that species were to go to extinct, you'd, you'd have a lot more issues with animals being able to escape the heat. We need coyotes, we need bighorn sheep, we need all of these animals in the entire food chain to survive so that we can have a healthy, thriving, flourishing ecosystem. The reach of the MSHCP extends out to other areas of Clark County as well such as the Muddy and Virgin Rivers, where the Desert Conservation Program owns several properties and manages them for the benefit of birds covered under the program, like the Southwestern Willow Flycatcher and the threatened Yellow-Billed Cuckoo. The Muddy River is really incised after years of channeling, and so we're gonna drop down the floodplain and actually restore it with the natural habitat. The reason for so much restoration along those rivers is because they've been invaded by tamarisk also known as salt cedar, an invasive species that outcompetes local plants and does not provide nutritional value for native species. These restoration projects will bring native plant species back to the area, which will encourage birds to begin nesting again. Land conservation and restoration projects are not the only ways the Desert Conservation Program offsets impacts from development activities. An integral part of the MSHCP is environmental education. A really active part of what we do is encouraging responsible OHV use. We want to encourage people to go have fun, but do it in a responsible way. Stay on the existing roads, watch out for tortoises, don't trash the environment, 
It's really important to educate the youth because they are the future environmental stewards for our community. Mojave Max is a caricature that was developed for the Desert Conservation Program to help us spread messages of conservation and to teach people to respect, protect, and enjoy our desert environment. Mojave Max has been around for approximately 22 years now. He's also a real live desert tortoise that resides at the Springs Preserve. And so we use the Mojave Max caricature and the real live desert tortoise to teach Clark County elementary school aged children about desert tortoises, desert tortoise biology, and a little bit about the Mojave desert environment that they live in. While the original MSHCP has helped Clark County grow into the vibrant and diverse community that it is today, the Desert Conservation Program is also planning for the future. The Desert Conservation Program is looking to amend the current Multiple Species Habitat Conservation Plan. The reason we are looking to amend the plan is because we need to accommodate future growth that we know will occur here in Clark County. People are going to continue to move here at Clark County, so we need to plan for that future growth. With the MSHCP covering a fixed amount of land and set to expire in 2031, Clark County is preparing an amendment to the MSHCP that will ensure Clark County has the land area that it needs to realize economic development goals while preserving natural areas and allowing native plants and wildlife to flourish. Pretty much everybody benefits from the MSHCP in some way. Developers benefit because they can keep doing the work that they want to do. Citizens benefit because we have more opportunities for economic growth, more places available to us to live in. Continued availability of areas for recreation out in natural environments. And we also get to keep conserving species that may otherwise be harmed from those activities. Striking the balance between development and conservation can be a balancing act. But by addressing the needs of our citizens and the needs of our environment, we are ensuring that Clark County remains the gem that it is for generations to come.